What's up guys, it's Camp Ross here, East Down Aquatics, and I'm here at the Cobalt Aquatics EXT Canister Filter. Simply put, this thing is amazing. I've been running it on my 30 gallon long for over half a year now, and the water clarity is fantastic. So what I'm focusing on in this tank is maximizing guppy production, reproduction, I guess, and it's kind of a mess in that there's stuff everywhere, fake plants, real plants, everything like that. However, I also, with having this large of a stock of fish, tons of baby guppies, tons of adults, I want to make sure that the water stays clean and that all that ammonia and stuff that's being reproduced is dealt with with the beneficial bacteria, biological, chemical, and all that different filtration methods. And this is definitely the way to go for this. So with this guy, I have a filter socket on it in this tank. It comes with one without a filter socket, of course, but I just made this out of um, some spare foam I had laying around. And then I went ahead and I added an attachment from Zoomed that allows the thing to spin. I don't know the best way of putting it, but it does really well in this tank. And I've also had comments on my videos in the past saying that people were impressed with the clarity. The only problem I've had in this tank with this is I have had a lot of growth of blackbeard algae but that is not as a result of the filter whatsoever that is mainly because for the longest time I was using just a basic shop light because I was doing this as a budget setup I didn't really care too much about the algae because I'm just breeding guppies it's not really a show tank I've switched to a 10,000 K coral life bulb and it's starting to do the trick and I've managed the life the light cycle but anyway this isn't an update on this tank this is a review on this filter. So I have a lot more to say, so stick around for the rest of the video if you'd like to hear that. So this filter is rated for 55 gallons or less. So I have it on a 30 gallon, which I think is one of the best choices you can make because you have perfect clarity. You're rotating it around through your tank about seven times per hour. You're rotating the water through your tank about seven times per hour. It has 210 gallons of flow and that is perfect for a tank this size. Now with the 55 gallon you're rotating about four times per hour which is still great but I definitely go with the 30. I'm, except I am going to be moving it over to my 55 gallon but since it's heavily stocked I'm also going to keep an HOB hang on back on there as well. But for a 30 gallon it is amazing. Great clarity. Now another awesome thing about this filter is that you can set it up in multiple ways. It has lots of instructions on the box, which I'll actually show you because that's probably the best way to demonstrate it. So if you can see right here, there's different setups. You have the intake, you have intake setups, and out of tank setups. These are the two main ones. So I chose to do mine outside the tank on the side where it's blowing the water out of the filter, not on the in-tank side. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to both of these setups. If you look back at the tank here, I chose to do mine outside the tank mainly because if you put it on the intake, you have all that crap coming in through your filter that hasn't been filtered yet and it's going through that motor and you're going to have to do some maintenance every month or so or however long if you notice any differences in the, I don't know, the rotation of the propeller in there, how well the motor is turning. I don't know, in an HOB, like a hangout back, if you take out your AquaClear, you got to clean out that propeller area and blow water through it or whatever every once in a while to make sure it's all clean. This way, I have it on the blowing side, I don't know the proper term for that, the not on the intake side the opposite side and it's already going through the filtered water is going through the pump so I don't have to worry too much about cleaning it only every like half a year or whatever I have to worry about cleaning that but the other way you do this is you can put it on the intake side and that guarantees you instant priming you don't want a quiet flow filter where once that motor is under the water once the water goes up to that level you have an instant prime it primes instantly that is exactly what this does and that's something you don't normally get on a canister however I sacrifice that in order to not have to clean out the motor as well as much so if you look down here the best thing about this thing so so far 
as I've been using the number one best thing that set this, sets this filter apart from all others that I've used and that a lot of other people have used that I've talked to. I'll move this out of the way here. Is how you clean it. Let me take this light off actually. Put it right there. So if you want to take out a normal canister filter, you have to take off the lid and clean it up and then you have to reprime it afterwards. But with this one, all I have to do is turn this nozzle right here. Turn it and pull. If you look back up at the tank, it's still flowing. And I left that zoom in thing on there. Main, I like it for my tank, but I also left it on so you can see that it's still working. So what you have is an in, you have a cycle right here that keeps going even when the canister is not hooked up. So all it's doing is taking water from your tank. It's not cleaning it, of course, because it doesn't have any filtration thing. But it's still going right through there. An endless loop, they call it. And now all you have to do is take this to your sink or your bathtub or your hose or whatever. Clean it out. Bring it right on back in. And this is still going. There's no leaks. That is still running. You don't have to worry about repriming your canister. A lot of people complain about priming. You don't even have to worry about this. Especially if you have it in the tank, then you really don't have to worry about it with the water changes. So I'm going to go take this clean out and I'm going to show you the baskets and how it does what it does. Okay, so I'm back with the canister filter after cleaning it. The endless loop is still running and I'm going to just kind of show you what's going on in here and the baskets and the whole situation. So it's got these really nice clips, very strong clips on all four, four sides here. The top comes off like that. And our first compartment is our biological media. And I have added some other stuff into this. I had this really porous rock at the end here that comes with all this ceramic media originally. And you can also add Biomax or get more ceramic media or anything like that. Your next layer is your floss. Or you can do the floss before the ceramics, which is what I normally have. I must have mixed them up in the order when I brought it down here. But I also had these bio balls I just throw in there. So the floss is very coarse. It's not like your normal polyfill that a lot of like DIY fish keepers will throw in there. I generally throw in polyfill because it's cheaper. You can get it at Michael's or anything. But this is a very coarse what uh, filter floss. So it catches a lot of things going through. It's really great. Then you got your carbon, which is now just kind of biological for me because I don't replace the carbon much. Eventually I'm going to put some more ceramic media or uh, pot scrubbies or any other type of biological media in here to replace this. And then your last layer, which is of course your big old sponge. And this fills the whole thing. And since the sponge is pretty compact in here, I want to show you the basket using this one. So the basket is, if you've ever seen like a wet dry filter, how they trickle it down, that's what, essentially what this does, until it's filled with water of course. But the whole thing just trickles all the way down through all this. When it gets to the bottom, it sucks right on through this tube that connects all the way up and exits into the filter. And what's awesome about these is sometimes it's hard to get your canisters to fit perfectly like everything to fit in perfectly but with these I can drop it in that way this way any way every single way I can drop it in any of those ways each box this looks a bit heavier. so that makes it really easy to throw everything in I'm gonna put in the biological first there. and everything fits nice and snug right on top of each other. So like I said, all these connect and they fit in right on top of each other. And then with the lid, same deal. Any which way. I, I like to put it in the front with the cobalt logo just to kind of, I don't know, it looks nice. Clip it on and it clips on anyway. And when you're ready, you just take it, 
plug it right back in. Now, just to give you guys kind of some advice here, I definitely recommend filling this thing back up with dechlorinated water before you hook it back on here. Because in order for it to stay perfectly primed, you definitely want to make sure that there's not much air in here. If there's a lot of air, then you got to worry about priming it once again and making sure this thing fills up. But, again, if it is in the water to begin with, you shouldn't have that problem on the intake side. But since mine is outside the aquarium, I will have to fill this up first, so I'm not going to hook it on just yet. But yeah, so that is the inside of the filter. I want to end the video by kind of giving you guys a price range for this amazing filter. It retails for, well it goes for $145 on Cobalt's website, which is still a reasonable price for a canister filter, for sure, especially one that can do all these things that I've showed you, all these innovative features. However, I offer a 25% discount on my channel because of all these reviews and Cobalt's generosity to me, giving me these products to review for you guys and giving me this discount. It's a 25% discount. Use the coupon code in the description below, Cobalt25. And you can get this thing for $108. That's $40 less, folks. That's pretty fantastic. So on that note, I wanted to let you guys know of the contest that's going on currently. I am thinking of extending it to April 1st, 2017. Um, I don't know if people haven't been like if they're working on it or if they were waiting, working on their entry or if they were waiting for this review and some of my other reviews, but I haven't gotten too many entries yet. I'm giving away lots of stuff, guys. Tons of aquarium supplies from Cobalt, and I'm giving away one of these guys right here. So if you like this product, go to my contest video, check it out, make a video, tell me you want this, and you'll be entered in the contest for a chance to win one of these for yourself. That's over $100 absolutely free shipped right to your home. So I want to thank Cobalt Aquatics for sending me this to review for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.